not just a sponsor of your team, but also a fan. Phones you want, service you deserve. Prairie Mobile, your SaskTel authorized dealer. I'm joined by Pats forward Pavel Padakin. And Pavel, a big game coming up against the Brandon Weekings. What's it going to take for the Pats to be successful against a team they haven't had a ton of success against recently? I never played this team this year, but I guess you just need to start playing uh, games like we, we, we were playing on, on the road trip. And uh, uh, we had a pretty, a pretty good winning streak during the this road trip. This means we, we, we need to keep it up, play like that. And, you know, uh, if we play like against Kelowna last game, then we'll beat every team in this league. Well, does uh, playing against Kelowna and getting that win against Kelowna kind of help your confidence? I mean, that's another 20-win team that you took down. Oh, yeah. This, like, I think uh, Kelowna was the, be- the best team in the league, and when we beat them, all the teams supposed to be scared of us, you know, kind of. And uh, uh, I know the, uh, Regina didn't have really good success in the start of the year against them, but, uh, you know, some teams are better, some teams are worse in the start of the year, but now it's... Uh, in the middle of the year and uh, our team is on winning streak everybody want to want to win and i think all our guys uh, will work hard and play like we did well looking at uh, the game against brandon it's also the teddy bear game uh, you've got the teddy bear goal the last two years in calgary do you think you have a teddy bear hat trick in you oh you know it was uh, exciting uh, to score this twice uh, two goals in two years but like uh, this year it will be my like third year and i i hope i'll score this goal but you know like it's just a great experience for everybody to see how the teddy bears fly and uh, you're just enjoying this time but in another way you just need to think that you need to score the first goal and uh, be this team when you scored the first one obviously it's kind of like oh well. the second one you had a crazy celebration where you uh, where you're shooting the bears out of the sky you were uh, you were swimming in the bears what would you do for your for your next one it's, it will be a surprise, you know, like that. Uh, I don't want to say my uh, my secret, you know, but what I'm thinking about. That. Well, now that we don't have Sergei Zborovsky sticking a stick in your face, uh, do you think you'd have some crazy celebration, or is it just kind of something that happens? Oh, well, you know, it's. I, I didn't think about that, but I think I have a, a one night to think about that, and uh, I don't want to say anything because this will be a surprise, right, for the fans. And uh, I hope it will be something fun if I'll score this goal. Well, if you don't score it, who do you think on the team would score it? You know, I hope it's Sergey because, like, uh, he's my Russian body, right? Like, and I remember my first year when I saw that somebody scored this goal, right? Like, it, it was just great experience, and it's it's staying for you forever, right? Like, you can show your kids and everybody. That's why, like, you just like hope it's Sergey, but I don't think he'll score. You know. <laughs> well, thanks for this, Pavel, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.